Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nikopara. So in the last episode we got a mountain of boxes and then chocolate and vanilla helped out. But yet, Kasho still wants to send them back home. Oh, I don't want to send you back home. Her shoulders drooped along with her ears and tail. The enthusiasm she showed earlier had completely disappeared. She sighed deeply and looked disheartened. Yeah, she looks very disheartened and sad. And then Vanilla is just giving that blank stare again. Aww. She trudged up to the second floor, still dejected. Ah. <sighs> Chocolate isn't an idiot. I knew she was pushing herself to be bright and full of energy. Yeah, because she doesn't want to be sent home. But even so, this wasn't something I was going to easily change my mind about. It was all the more with how much she cared for me. Oh, They just let her stay. Let them both stay. No. You're not bad, cat girls. She spoke quietly in her usual way. Vanilla tilted her head as she asked that question. You two aren't bad, cat girls, and that's why I can't have you stay here. Wait, I'm confused. It's because you two are good Kakaros that I can't allow it. What? She blinked as she took in my words. It was almost as if she was trying to peer inside my heart. She stared directly at me, long and hard. Aww. Not just Kakaros, I don't even understand this. Oh? Is it really that straightforward? For cat girls? Huh. Vanilla? Alright. With those words, she went upstairs. The sound of her small footsteps slowly disappeared and before long I couldn't hear them anymore. Must be a uh, very, you know, cat-like. Very quiet. They go sneaking up on you go, Meow! Humans are hard to understand. Huh? Inside the bakery, now devoid of anyone but myself. I repeated those words she had just said to me. Over and over again. Now that I think about it, that's a pretty inconsistent way of thinking, isn't it? Uh... More or less. Cats do not understand that. Having heard that said aloud, I began to understand what it really meant. Do you, Kasha, do you? I don't think so. It must be pretty nice to live the simple life of a cat girl, huh? Simple life? I'm not, I don't know. I pondered as I looked at the name of the bakery I fixed to the window. With a bitter smile, I began to clean up the tea sets that had arrived earlier. Clean? You're gonna need a clean? It's okay if they have some cardboard taste on it. No one will notice. Mmm, cardboard. Yeah, I broke Master's cup. Let's just say the cup broke by itself. <laughs> the cup broke by itself. Oh, you're right. I don't see the food truck behind you. 
Just like yesterday, we took a walk through the park in the evening. However, that food stand was nowhere to be found. Where could they have gone? It just so happened that Norn was home on the day I decided to take the two cat girls home. What a coinkadink! I had also happened to leave the house key behind. Well, they, that, there's your fault. You left the keys behind. So, to make good use of time, I went to do some shopping before Shiguri got home. Oh. Huh? What? Catnip. Cat girls eat catnip. Hmm. That isn't the right word at all. What, what are they? What? What are they trying to talk about? Chocolate. If you're tired, why don't we rest a bit? Oh, catnap. Catnip. Like the catnip. Are are you sure? I mean, you, you wanted to catnap. There's no need for you to apologize. She had a troubled smile on her face as she nodded. It was pretty clear why she wasn't in good spirits. Well, yeah, we. We we're trying to take her home. That's why there was nothing I could really say to her. Oh. Well, there happens to be a bench over there, so why don't we rest a bit? That oh, sounds good. Ah, thanks. Something for everyone, okay? Yeah, get some, some uh, boba tea. Maybe some regular tea. Eh. Uh, yeah. Thank you. She vanished. I handed Vanilla some change and offered the bench to Chakala. Oh. Oh man. I don't like it when they get sad. Look at her face. So. Oh. The constant sea breeze rustled the trees in the park. All that could be heard throughout the empty park were the quiet sounds of nature. I silently sat down next to the disheartened Chocola. Looks like she's about to cry. Why'd you do this, Kasha? Why? Like the gently setting sun, time passed by slowly. Huh? Her voice was so quiet that I wasn't quite sure if I had heard her or not. Even so, she answered clearly. Without saying a word, I responded by gently rubbing Chakala's head. Sure. Why... Why wouldn't I allow that? I'll let you. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I will. Don't say yeah again, Kasho. Oh man. I'm starting to feel kind of sad now. Her voice trembled as she frantically wiped away her tears. She stifled her sobbing and her voice became strained. She looked pained as she did her best to hold back her emotions, biting her lips. I held back my irresponsible words that were on the brink of coming out with all my strength. Yeah. Of course I will. Kasha, why? I'm 
I was frustrated at myself for saying nothing. I was empty. I could only offer condolences that could not be put into words. Uh, I rubbed Chocolate's head as gently as I could. I hope so. I don't really think I'm kind at all. Okay, well that just... Kind of went against what I just said. Huh? Same thing? Before? Chakala closed her eyes and smiled. Hmm? Oh yeah, chocolate and vanilla were strays. Ah, of course I remember that. Then how'd you forget then? It was a cold day, half a year ago. Chakla and Vanilla were huddled together, crying by the side of the road. They were still so young, they couldn't even speak yet. It was that day that I embraced their small, cold bodies and took them home with me. Aw, it's a... They're just left out like that? What kind of irresponsible people do that? There is no way I could simply forget that important day when our family grew. In the beginning, you two really couldn't get used to things at home. I wonder who their previous owners owner uh, were. I mean, you just left them out like that. Aww, that's understandable. You two wouldn't eat at all, which really worried Shigure. Oh no, were you really that scared? I started to hear a tiny bit of laughter in her voice as we reminisced about the past. Aww, yay, she's laughing. Kind of. You also had a fever? Oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, I definitely do remember that. Ooh, what is this? Ah, flashback. It was a few days after we brought chocolate and vanilla home. At that point, they'd only occasionally drink some water. And as always, they didn't really touch their food. The combination of malnourishment and cold weather had really begun to weaken their bodies. They both developed high fevers and were in pain. Oh, they look so sad, just in pain. Look at them. Oh, they look like just children, like kids. I love kids. I uh, I went to nursing because I wanted to be a pediatric nurse. I wanted to help kids like that, help them get better. Oh, I'm kind of feeling that right now. Just kind of imagining what they went through. Wow. But they were at, they're in a nice home though. It's alright. I'm with you two, so don't worry. Oh, 
たんですよね。ああ。ずっとそばで、大丈夫、大丈夫って言い続けてくれて。So we stayed by their sides the whole time that they were sick? Yay! ショコラとバニラのこと、なで続けてくれてました。朝になって、Wait, morning? Why morning? Couldn't we just have gone to the hospital? I felt that I wasn't able to do anything though until morning, I think. That's true. Really? Anyone? Well, at least you got better, though. What matters? Huh. Oh. So even though Shigure taught them everything they know now. It was from that day that I became their master. Aww. I wish that her tear filled eyes would not spill over. Those tears were filled with anxiety, sadness, and happiness. She smiled all she could before me. Oh. So that's why. That's why the, um, they went with me in the boxes. Without me knowing. Said that with the faintest of smiles, one that seemed as if it would disappear at any moment. Those words were so gentle and warm, but there was also an undeniable sadness and emptiness mixed in with them. Chocola, I was the one she was saying all this to. Even so, the only thing I could say back to her was her name. I mean, you're only nine months old, right? Yeah, years? I think that's young, right? So she's already made a connection emotionally. I think. I think that's a word. Gosh, I don't send them away. Chocolate voiced her feelings clearly once again. 
and barely kept her tears from overflowing. Chakla, if you could be with me. I was engulfed by my inner thoughts which were ready to overflow. Oh man. It's just so touching. Oh, it's sad too. But we will find out, everybody, in the next episode, what my answer will be. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!